Hi guys, um, it's Bridget and I am coming to you with a share. Um, I made uh, this um, needle book and I made this lace book and these are um, my swap projects or two of my swap projects with uh, Bonnie who is Sassy Scrappers. Hi Bonnie. See, I swear to you I was creating <laughs> but um, anyway, um, we uh, about six weeks ago we decided to do a swap together and we uh, went back and forth and started chatting about what we wanted or what we liked and um, anyway she said she wanted a needle book so this is my first ever needle book. Um, I did watch a couple of tutorials now if I do remember who they were. I think one was Trisha who had linked her needle book to um, another tutorial but um, if I remember who they are I will put the links in the description box so I did follow loosely just to see what the assembly was um, because I did have to sew a little bit so um, this is the cover and uh, this big spray. I know it's it's really busy so it's hard to see but this big spray came from Trezor Deluxe and I use this beautiful fabric to cover the um, white felt that I used from Paper Tray Ink. You can see it here and I think I put a layer of lace underneath it but this is white and pink. This I got from I think her name is Shabby Patty. I had won a big giveaway that she did a few months ago. And then um, I put an applique under here. The applique went from, you know, top to bottom. So it got covered a little bit, but you do see some pretty peaks of it. This is some rosette trim that I had gotten from Artie. And here is the back. You can really see this gorgeous fabric. This is so, so pretty. So the lace book opens up like this. I put a pocket here. These laces are from the piece by piece. Some pearls. I made a little button card for her. And then I had this extra lace from um, Gisela, so I just pinned it there just because I didn't want it to go to waste. Then I thought, you know, if she wanted to use it, she could just unpin it. So that goes like that. And then I made um, these I just glued like this for a pocket or if she wants to stick things in here like um, stick pins or needles. This is my first lace book so I kind of really didn't know what I was doing but I wanted it just to be very pretty. Um, this trim I think is from Hobby Lobby. These are some appliques again from Rosella. And then these I had fussy cut out of a bigger trim and put them here like little corners. And then more rosette trim here, and these are the stick pins that I made for her. Um, I didn't really have any needles, and I didn't know how she was really going to use it, so I figured that would be cute like this. This came off of a little piece of jewelry I had. Um, some buttons here. This is a larger trim applique that I cut apart from Artie's shop. Some little pins here with buttons and um, these appliques again from Rosella and then I sewed the whole thing together just a very simple stitch and then I covered it here with um, a piece of lace then this page I just kind of made it a very decorative page this is the new doily trim from Prima this is a piece of um, this trim that looked kind of like a bow it was a scrap so i pinned it there more appliques um another little fussy cut piece of this lace here that i just didn't want to go to waste that's from the piece by piece and then a pocket in the back another applique piece here a button card and let's see and that's it and then the back so um 
This is another piece of lace that I just had layered. I think what happened was I maybe made a little mistake and I wanted to cover it up. So since it was my first lace book, I really wanted it to be special. And uh, since I was making it for Bonnie, um, I really wanted to still use the fabrics that I had already laid down. And I think there was like a little piece here that I wasn't happy about. So I just layered another piece of lace there. But um, tell me what you think. I have to come back for the lace book because my battery is dying. Sorry guys. But, um, but this is it. I had a lot of fun making this and it's so much fun when um, you're experimenting and using just these beautiful, beautiful fabrics and laces. So um, I'll be back guys. I'm sorry I had to cut this short, but um, see you soon. Okay, bye.